Hello everyone, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a platformer. Let's get started. So there's a link down below for the graphics that I'm using. It's a Scratch project, and I'll show you how to backpack them into your project right here, now. Roll the clip. So to get the graphics that I use, go ahead and go to the link down below, and that will take you to this project. Of course, you won't see all this and stuff, but you're going to press C inside, and then drag all of these to your backpack. Press the backpack button and drag them over to open them. And then drop them in and do that for all of them. Make sure that they go into the backpack and then you'll see them all there. Go ahead and switch. Make your project. And then delete the cat. And then drag them all back over here. So that's how you do that. Back to the video. Oh yeah, and please like and subscribe, by the way. Okie doke, so now that you have the graphics, let's go ahead and start coding. First off, go ahead and show, and set the size back to 100. Actually, that's way too small. Let's keep it at, let's say, 200. Okay, that's good. And now, for the code. So, what we'll want to be doing is, would green flag clipped? Of course, switch to this costume, because that is the starting costume. And then, you'll want to forever. And then we're going to need to make some variables here, so follow closely. X velocity, which is the X velocity. Y velocity, which is, as you guys, the Y velocity. And then jump. And what jump is, is it makes sure that the player isn't able to fly, so it detects if it's jumped or not. Okay, so now, inside of this loop, you're going to want to set all of the variables to zero. And then, you're going to drag the player to a spot where you'll want him to start. Say, there. And then, go to motion, and pull out the go-to block, and just drop it in right there. Okay, and now, we're going to need to make some more sprites. And to do that, the link is still down below for all of the graphics that you'll need to use. And, yeah. Okay, so now that those are imported, you might be wondering why Platforms is blank. That's just because you'll want to design your own and make it how you want to make it. And so it's not just my platformer, it's your platformer. Okay, so now, in the player sprite, repeat until, and this is going to be the main game loop, so what is always running, and this at the beginning only happens when the green flag is clicked. Even though it's in the forever loop, it's really just this that keeps running forever. So now, in that condition, add an or, and then a less than block, and also a touching the danger sprite. And so what this is, is it's going to be saying, and then in the other condition, we'll also want to add X position, and then 239. And so what this is, is if the player has won and gotten to the end, or if they have touched danger and need to restart. So now, you're going to want to add another block, which changes the X velocity by... the boolean right key pressed minus left key pressed. And what this is, is it, it subtracts the two values. If the value of the boolean is true, it makes it a one. If it is false, it makes it a zero. And so what this is doing is it's, if you press the right key, that means this value will be one. And if you aren't pressing the left key, it's one minus zero. And so that's one. And so it's changing it by one because you're going right. But, if you, this is false, then it's zero, and if you are pressing the left key, then that's going to make it one, and zero minus one is negative one, and you'll need to go left. Okay, so now, you'll want to also, after that, set x velocity to x velocity times 0 0.9. 
You might be wondering, why are we setting our x velocity if we just changed it? And what this is doing is it, since this value is less than 1, it's going to make the value of x velocity lower. And that is friction. So we're changing it if it's holding down. And then after we do that, we're setting it, and it's, and it's multiplying it by 0 0.9 and m making this value smaller, which has the effect of friction. And then you'll want to change x by round x velocity. And this just makes it so that we don't get crazy numbers um, and it breaks scratch. And that's always a good thing, isn't it? And then what you'll want to do is if we are touching the platform, then we are going to, if touching platform, change x by round x velocity times negative 1. So you're rounding x velocity times negative 1, which is if x velocity is a negative number, it'll make x velocity a positive number, and it'll change the x by the positive number of x velocity. But if x velocity is a positive number, it'll make it a negative number and make the player move left. What this is doing is this is um, horizontal wall detection, and so if you're going, if a player is moving right, let's say, and then they hit the wall, and if it doesn't know that the wall is there with the touching platforms block, then it will just keep going like it isn't there. But if we have this block, if it's touching platforms and it's moving right, x velocity is a positive number, then what will happen is it will move it left to the same amount. So it's going back and forth really fast, but you just aren't able to see it. Okay, so now what we are going to want to do is underneath that if block, change y velocity by negative 1. And what this is, is this is gravity. And you can make this number whatever you want, but I'm going to make it negative 1 because that's just a standard number, and it's easy to follow along with. And then, just like the x, you're going to want to change y by y velocity. If block, if touching platforms, and just like before with the horizontal detection, we're going to do the same thing for the vertical. Just duplicate that. And if you have scratch add-ons, you can just make it change y instead, and then switch this. But if you don't, you can just manually do it. Okie doke. And so now, add another if block underneath that. If y velocity is less than zero. And what this is, is it's going to be detecting if the player is falling. Because if your y velocity is in the negative, that means you're going down and therefore falling. So what it's doing is it's checking if it's falling, and if it is falling, it's going to set jump to zero. Underneath that, you're going to then set y velocity to zero, because, yeah. And what that does is it's just avoiding some weird stuff with the jumping happening if you don't have that. I'm not quite sure what exactly is happening, but if, if when I don't put it there, it, it goes bonkers. Okie doke, so now, underneath that one underneath here, put it right there, we're going to want to, if up key pressed, and this is, as you guessed, going to be our jumping script, if up key pressed, then you're going to want to add another if, what this one is going to be, is if jump equals zero. And what this is going to be doing is making sure that the user is on the ground. Because remember, here, when we're touching platforms, we set jump to zero to represent that we're on the ground. And then what you're going to want to do is set y velocity to the velocity that you want to jump. So the higher the number, the higher you're going to jump. Like, it's going to be a great idea to modify the gravity and the jump height and make like a space platformer in low gravity. 
And that's a challenge for you guys. If you make one of those, I will definitely check it out and make sure to play it. Okie doke. And then you're going to, after that, set jump to 1 to represent we're in the air, we can't jump again. If you don't do that, the player can fly everywhere. And now... So now what you're going to want to do is add, underneath all of this, except for the forever loop, if, and then do a greater than, and then in the greater than, you're going to put the x position of the player, which is stored in motion, and then at the very bottom, you will see x position. If x position is greater than 239, and that is at the very edge over here, and that means that we've won. And so we need to do the next level so that the, all the other sprites know to change their form. So, next level. And now, we could test it. But we can't because we don't have our platforms yet. So go ahead and spend some time making a platform. I'm just going to quickly just do this. Just to, for demonstration purposes. And then, yeah. So, let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, we can move left and right, fine. Left and right is fine. Up, oh, yep, but if we touch that, we have to go back to the start. Now, I'm going to add another level, and let's test with wall collisions. Let's see. So, if we restart. Oh, yeah, and by the way. When I receive next level for platforms and danger, you're going to want to next costume, and when green flag clipped, switch costume to costume 1. Just an FYI, something I forgot that's very important. Okay, look. so now, if we test this, we have to go back to the start. If we go over here, it goes to the next level. No wall jumping yet. That is something I will add in the next episode. And if you want that, be sure to like, Subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.